Hello everyone! Since version 1.4, purging unused styles is much simpler in Tailwind CSS. Let's take a look. So I have a pretty basic Tailwind setup here. I have a standard post CSS config where I require the Tailwind CSS and auto prefixer plugins. I'm going to generate the default Tailwind config file with npx Tailwind CSS in it. Here it is. I also have a standard CSS file with the three Tailwind layers. And then in my package.json file, we have development and production scripts, which both do the same thing, take our CSS file, run it through post-CSS and output the result in the build directory. The only difference is that the development script sets the node env environment variable to development and production sets it to production. Under the hood, Tailwind will use this node env variable to determine whether to run the CSS through the purge process. Since it takes a few seconds to run, we only want to do this when building for production. We also have a serve script, which will basically run the development script and concurrently spin up a little live server where we can work on our project. Let's start the server with yarn serve. And here's our project, a simple booking form example. You can see that a Tailwind CSS output file has been generated inside the build folder. It's a huge file with hundreds and hundreds of lines of CSS, as it contains all the permutation for all default utilities, for all breakpoints, hover states, etc. The HTML file we looked at in the browser just before is this one, and you can see that in the document head we have a link to that giant CSS style sheet. Just for kicks, Let's check out how big this file actually is in the network tab. And we've got ourselves almost 2.3 megs of CSS for a super simple booking form. That surely seems excessive. So let's see what we can do about that. In a new terminal window, since our serve is still running, I'll type yarn production. Okay, we get a few heads up messages about breaking changes coming to Tailwind version 2.0, but here's what's interesting. Tailwind is not purging unused styles because no template paths have been provided. Out of the box, Tailwind is going to skip the purge step until you provide a list of file paths for purge CSS to scan. Okay, well, let's go and add that. In our Tailwind config file, you can see a purge property set to an empty array. Let's add the path to our HTML file in here. And just for good measure, we'll use a glob that covers any HTML file in the public directory. Let's run our production script again. And we got new warning messages. I'll ignore these since they are covered in another video. For now, let's go and look at our CSS file to see if some styles were purged. If I hard refresh the live server URL, our CSS file went from 2.3 meg to 16 kilobytes. That's a massive improvement. And all we needed to do for that was to pass our template path to the purge property in our config file. Pretty cool. Looking inside the CSS file, we have our base reset styles at the top, but then our utilities have been cut down by a whole lot. The only utilities that have been kept are the ones for which purge CSS found a matching string in the files we provided to the purge property in our config file, which for now is just our one HTML file. This is important to note. Purge CSS will very naively try to find a matching entire string in the templates. It will not try to process a templating language, compute dynamic classes, etc. Keep that in mind and try to write purge-friendly class names in your templates, where the entire class name is present. Instead of doing something like this, where you construct a background color class based on state, output the whole class string in both conditions. As a recap, all that was necessary to go from a giant file with thousands of utilities to a stripped down 14 kilobytes purge file was to pass a list of file paths to the purge option in the config file. For the vast majority of projects, this will be all you ever need to worry about.